to begin at the beginning. It is spring, moonless night in the small town, starless and Bible black. The cobble streets silent and the hudged quarters and rabbits wood limping invisible down to the slow black, slow black, crow black, fishing boat bobbing sea. The houses are blind as moles, though moles see fine tonight in the snouting velvet dingles. Or blind as Captain Cat, there in the muffled middle, by the pump and the town clock. The shops in mourning, the welfare hall in widow's weeds, and all the people of the lulled and dumbfound town are sleeping now. Hush, the babies are sleeping. The farmers, the fishers, the tradesmen and pensioners, cobbler, schoolteacher, postman, publican, the undertaker and the fancy woman, drunkard, dressmaker, preacher, policeman, the web-foot cockle women and the tidy wives. Young girls lie bedded soft or glide in their dreams with rings and trousseau bridesmaided by glowworms down the aisles of the organ-playing wood. The boys are dreaming wicked. Or of the ranches of the night and the jolly rogered sea. And the anthracite statues of the horses sleep in the fields and the cows in the byres, and the dogs in the wet-nosed yards, and the catsnap in the slant corrupt corners, or lope sly streaking and needling on the one cloud of the roofs. You can hear the dew falling, and the hushed town breathing. Only your eyes are unclosed to see the black and folded town fast and slow asleep.